It's a, it's a huge super regional and it's happening right in, uh, right over in Jersey. Yeah, right in our backyard. There you go, over in Cherry Hill. You definitely want to check that out. Uh, presented by Big E Games, it's going to be the, from the 31st of August to September the 2nd. But folks, that's then, this is now. We're into some uh, losers semifinal action between Blazing Pasta and Dan the Man. Yep. Here we go, a uh, Peach versus Charizard matchup and very familiar territory for these two. Yep. Blazing Pasta, of course, the person that took uh, Dan the Man out of the winner's bracket. With this oh, he's already got a stitch. Hit. This is the second time. Oh, no. And he recaught it. This no. is this is another opportunity. Oh, he got it again. Okay, so you can ask Blazing Kiss for confirmation on this. Three. The can first, we get another one? The first turnip that he pulled in the match, uh, his first Four. Match. Oh, my gosh. He's going to. Oh, okay. He basically took his like he he took that one stock with one turn up. No, that's exactly what happened the first time they played too. He pulled a stitch on the first try. That's ridiculous. That's how I mean. It's I it's hard to imagine how you can like, like the mathematical odds of that. Please run that somebody. Uh, the first stitch that you pull happens to uh, the the first turn up you pull is a stitch twice. I want that number tweeted to me at Stu the announcer. Also follow me, but yeah. even while we're uh, wow, he almost broke his shield there though. Absolutely, um, good position if you're blazing pasta. Yep. I mean, already at fifty-four percent, and again. Oh, just he wanted the uh, he that F tilt. He landed on the platform a little too early. He wanted the forward air there. Oh, but uh, he, caught, he got it that time. Yeah, a bunch of them, in fact. Yeah. And again with the. Uh, up there by Peach. I don't know. Hey, if you could shoot a rainbow out of your hand, you would. But yeah. still a good position for uh, for Blazing Pasta to be in because, as mentioned before, just knows how to deal with those heavier characters so yes. well. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you wonder how much of that is experience against players like Beast, who is well known for his Charizard, players like uh, Bex Kazrani, who is the, like, the big character uh, guru of the Philadelphia area, really. True. Um, Beast, uh, the same beast that wound up uh, losing to Dan the Man in the loser's <gasps> bracket. No, he gimped oh him all gosh. the way. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Take that and rewind it back. That was amazing stuff from Blazing Pasta, who's put himself in very good position to get himself into the loser's final. Blazing Pasta's piece just beat a dragon while wearing a wedding dress with a turnip. Like, some guys are into that. This is a video game where that can happen. And I love that. But it's like I said before, this is a game where two people weaponize vegetables. Yeah. So like, let's, yeah. let's put things into perspective here. Yeah. I mean, that was a, that was a really I think Kuro got a hammer. Like that was a really funny tweet where he's like, "Why do so many Actually, of the three? Diddy yeah. has the peanuts. Okay. Yeah. Why do so many of the RNG moves in this game involve turnips? Like specifically turnips. Like villager up air down air both use turnips and those are RNG. Peaches uh, peaches you peach uses turnips. Like why is it always turnips and why is it always random? I'm, I'm going there's to have Ninten a, there's, there's something Nintendo isn't telling us. I'm going to have an aneurysm thinking about this. <laughs> we get game two underway, relatively even at the start. If yep. that was a stitch, I would have just thrown this headset. Yeah, I know. I mean, but that's like... There's... I, you know... My, my brain tells me that this doesn't happen, but like... There's got... There's... I always feel like when one stitch comes out... There's always the threat that another's coming. Like it always feels like the like it's gonna happen again. Like the chance of it happening again is even more likely. The mind games involved. Yeah, Absolutely. but this is a good this is a good stage choice for Dan the Man. Like um, Peach has kill power, especially with her with her forward air. But Charizard like is kill power. Yeah, and pretty like much. you really want like kind of a like you know you want an octagon of a stage like uh, like Town and City where Charizard you know and like what. What Charizard really does with how much kill power he has on so many different moves is he really... Oh, that's a dot face. Okay. That one doesn't connect. Um, like, he basically just, like, makes the stage even smaller because the... Wow. Oh, kills him with the fair, though. That was just, like, a defensive wall coming out from Blazing Pasta. Was a little ridiculous, wasn't it? And already, yeah. I mean, that's uh, it's Dan the Man down to his last stock of the tournament unless he could pull something off. Yep. And this still, like, you know, this... But as I mean, as Jelly said, this is like Charizard has a huge hurt box. It's, he's a big target, so he's gonna get hit by a lot of stuff. And I mean, Blazing Pasta. That's a that's a yeah. You're right. It's a big target, and mm -hmm. Blazing Pasta is uh, very good at hitting big targets. What can we say? Yep. 
already. I mean, utilizing that side B perfectly, just tagging him, adding all oh, that damage. Just a little late on the... And the down throw into the up air. It won't kill, but... Oh, he wanted to oh. tag him a little bit with that umbrella. That's the... That is the messiest thing you could have done, Blazing Pasta. You know you're playing with swagger when you try wow. something like that. And eventually the forward smash takes the stock. But my yeah. goodness, if that doesn't light a fire under Dan the Man, yeah, what Rage, uh, Rage, Rage Charizard is kind of scary, but uh, Peach well, can clean that up with, uh, you know, just one swing like of a crown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one swing of a tiara cleans up that dragon. And so it does. That is uh, Blazing Pasta taking the set 2-0. And again, just absolutely relentless offense. Yeah.